Hi guys, this video I wanted to um, talk about my experience with bullying. Um, I just kind of thought about it and I kind of thought that it would be a good thing to talk about. Um, you know, not good but like interesting to talk about and maybe if, I'm sure like, I'm sure like 80% of people have been bullied and if you are being bullied and maybe if you were to watch this then maybe it would help you. Um, I can't really give tips on how to handle it just because um, I think everybody deals with it differently. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you what happened to me. At primary school I was bullied, um, not badly, but kind of the mickey being taken out of me. Um, as in, I don't know whether you know what taking the mickey out of somebody is like, kind of just picking little things and kind of making a joke out of it, like my big eyes or... Um, my curly hair, I have naturally really, really curly hair, um, which I know you, you probably can't believe now, but um, I didn't really care too much. I At primary school, I was a really, really big tomboy. I played football, and all my best friends were boys, and they still are. A lot of my best friends are boys. Um, but I didn't really get it. I didn't really think anything of it. And then, um, of course, it would upset me, but not to the point of crying. Um, it, you know... I just kind of think, oh, well, that's their problem. You know, I was about 10, so it didn't really bother me. And then I got to high school. And I've been to two high schools, and I moved mainly because of bullying. Um, okay, so I went to my first high school for about two and a half years, three years. Um, and the first year, not too bad. Um, some, things would be t some things would be said, but again, I was still a really, really big tomboy. And then I kind of hit puberty. <laughs> And, um, I didn't have bad skin, nothing like that. My skin's always been pretty good. Um, so it wasn't that. It was my hair, because what had been curls when I was little had now turned into frizz. And it would look like this every single day. And people <laughs> would laugh at me and point at me, and, oh, it was horrible. And, um, my big eyes, like, they are pretty huge that was kind of the main thing um and my teeth um i don't know if you can see like these teeth are really straight and then i got like a fang and um i'm like awfully pale as well so that was another thing that would be taking me to me and um i would i would kind of go home and cry and um it, it was just bad you know i've always been really really bubbly and stuff so like a lot of people didn't notice but it was like in certain lessons um, things would be said, and I would get really upset, and then I would, I kind of turned really nasty, be, just to try and deal with it, because I just thought, if they think that I'm not a very nice person, then maybe they'll leave me alone, and then, um, it just got worse, because then people started joining in, and, um, it got to the kind of third year, and I'd had enough, and, um, a website <laughs> was made about me, that's not, so a website was made about me, and, um, yeah, sorry, and, um, mean things were said about me, like, really mean, and, well, not like a website, it was Bebo, which is not popular now, but it was really, really popular at the time, it was kind of like a Facebook of its day, and, um, yeah, like, they were, they were kind of insulting me, and, like, my supposed best friend at the time, and, um, and a couple of other girls who I didn't get along with, and um, they're kind of taking them care of all of us, and it really, really hurt me. Um, because mainly because almost the whole school had joined as kind of friends of this Bebo profile, and they were slagging me off, and it just been really, really mean and saying personal things about other girls as well. Well, of course, these other girls who didn't like me and were some of the main perpetrators of bullying me, kind of um, said that I'd started the site and. And they, they kind of said that I'd started the site because I wanted people to feel sorry for me. So I started the site to make them look bad as well as myself. So then people wouldn't think it was me. I don't know, really, really complicated what they kind of accused me of. And um, the school believed them, which, which was just great. And um, I kind of... One of my best friends was a, was a boy... And I went out with him for a couple of weeks. I really, really hope none of them watch this because it will just start all over. But um, I went out with him for a couple of weeks and that was disastrous. 
and um, in the end, I it was just worse, and it's still getting the mickey taken out of me. I'd started wearing makeup at this point, and I'd started straighten my hair, but still getting the mickey taken out of me, and it was just getting worse, and I would walk into the dinner hall, and food would be thrown at me, and um, I'd kind of go home and cry, and, um, sorry, and, um, so, in the end, it was like, it was not only the bullying, I'm, I'm quite a strong person, I didn't want to seem defeated, it was not only that, it was, it was a mixture of things, I mean, the school wasn't very good in the first place, but, um, it, the school was moving, but the main thing was bullying, and, um, I moved schools, that solved it, and I kind of, I had a couple of friends at this school, who I, I have, like, limited contact with, and, um, that solved it, moving schools, because, they can't bully you if they don't see you. Um, occasionally I'll get the odd Facebook comment and they'll say something mean to me. But kind of my friends will just be like, who the hell is this? Hey, why are you taking me care to Megan? And I think it helped that I started a new school where kind of nobody knew me and um, I didn't have frizzy hair and I wasn't like um, as fugly <laughs> as I was before. Um, I think that helped. I also think it helped that I was quite strong. I never cried in front of them, and I think that was one of the main things that I'm proud of myself at. Um, I would kind of just stand there and just kind of be like that, as if you don't bother me. Um, but that didn't solve it. And I know for a lot of people that can solve it. I went to the teachers, I told the teachers, I did everything I was meant to. I, um, I told my parents. Um, and... In the end, the teachers would kind of put me in a room every break and dinner time where I'd be on my own with one of my friends to kind of get away from them so I wouldn't have food thrown at me. But, um, and that really did help. But it kind of ostracises you that and then people kind of think that you're weird that you're sitting in this room on your own. Um, so, yeah. But I would say, tell the teachers, tell your parents. Um, if it's really, really, really bad, move schools. Um, yeah. I hope this has helped. I know you kind of watch me and just see that it's a really, really bubbly person, but I have dealt with what you're going through. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.